Hello and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy IX. So, last time, what did we do? We, uh, we ended up escaping, uh, ooh, into, straight into a fight, really, okay. Um, anyway, we escaped Alexandria, we were supposed to go to Treno, but the Gargant ended up being chased by the snake thing that took me fucking years to steal from, and now we are at uh, Pinnacle Rocks, which is actually right outside of Lindblom, we have been here before. Um, what should I use against these guys? I don't know. I'll try some fire. Seeker bats. Alrighty. So yeah, it's just Dagger, Vivi, and Zidane at the moment. Steiner, Freya, and Beatrix were left to defend for themselves, although I'm pretty sure they're going to be okay. I should have stolen, actually. Whoops. Do, 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 do. And uh, yeah, we actually found ourselves in the company of uh, a ghostly old man who revealed himself to be Ramu, who is uh, an idolan. And he said if we if we manage to complete a certain test of his, we uh, it, it'll join us. And that's great. So we just need to find bits of a story, apparently. And, and yeah, so we're reading him a bedtime story. We just need to find all the correct parts, put them in the right order, and we'll get ourselves a summon. Um, which is, you know, kind of great because we have lost all of Garnet's other summons. So, we really need uh, all the help we can get. And that was a terrible intro, a terrible explanation of what's going on, but there you go. So we get a Mithril Vest. Um, so we just need to explore this place, try and find the different spots. Aha. Historian's explanation. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indic indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. So that, um, that's the human part of the story, four more to find. So I'm guessing that was towards the end of the story. Oh, hello. I, I just want that chest, actually, but okay. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamantois in the Snowfield Cavern and acquired the Goddess Bell they needed to enter the Empire's castle. Now, if anyone who's, who's played Final Fantasy II, this will be very familiar to you, because it is actually explaining some of the plot of that game, which is a cool little reference. And, uh, oh, we get another Ogre, which is uh, Zidane's weapon. Right, how do we get that chest up on that tree? I must have to come down from above. Oh, hello, Ramu. Uh, on the way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter, Nelly, about the tragedy. Silence. Two to go. Alrighty. You know, I'm so glad that they're playing the Evil Forest music here. You don't get to hear it enough. It is such a nice theme. Right. So I guess we go up here. And round. Oh, hello. Once a ah, this could be the beginning, you know. <laughs> Thirty-three small countries fought together against an empire. That is a lot of small countries. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted the plea for help, and uh, they headed for a cavern in the snowfield. At least I think it, it is definitely a Final Fantasy II reference. I have not played it in a long time, so I can't really remember if that is part of the plot or if it's just a reference to the characters. Um, shit, we need to go this way again, don't we? Down this way. Oh, that's actually where we came from. Can we... Oh, hello. oh no, we're not done yet. I think you go there once you've found all the stories. How the frickety fuck do I get down to that other... Huh. Hmm, okay, well, you know what, we're gonna go... Ah, hang on. You know what? <laughs> we'll go back the other way. Ah, uh, more Seeker Bats, fine. Um... I don't really have anything useful with dagger, really. Attack-wise, at least. Let's try some Blizzara. Vivi, you need to uh, 
We need to use the tent, really. I think. Yeah, that... I don't know what these guys are weak against. Do 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 do. I'll try Thunder, I suppose. Yeah, sorry I've been busy. It's been a few days since last video. I actually spent a lot of my time making new channel stuff, new channel art. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got now, so carry on with this, but I just had the urge to, uh, to change it. I thought with the uh, 5,000 sub thing happening, I needed something to commemorate it. And a change of uh, look for the channel is probably the only thing I can do. Vivi and Dag are very close to leveling up. And Zidane, really. Sweet. You know what? I am going to use a tent quickly. Do, do, do. Thank you, Monty. Hang on, did I? No, okay. Right, we're going this way. Because there was another path that we didn't take, so I just want to check it out. I'm really... No idea how we get to that fucking chest. Ah, unless we jump across, perhaps. But I think the last story could be, yeah. One left of me. Oh, no, that's the exit! Not yet. Uh, jump off, do it. There we go. Thrill Omelette. Right, now we just need to find the last uh, creepy old man. Could be this way. Or not. Shit, where's he gonna be? So we went over there. Let's, must be here somewhere. I definitely I went this way, didn't I? Nothing in there. Come on, it's not a big area, this mage. Not a big area at all. Should be able to uh, find the bastard. Right, is it going to be over here? Oh, new e Yeah, well, actually, no. Not new enemies, really. We have seen these before in the desert. We'll kill them anyway. I know these guys are weak against ice, so at least I'm pretty certain. Haha, <laughs> auto reflect. For the win. Does Dagger still have auto potion on her? Can't remember now. But yeah, for those of you who are on my Facebook and Twitter, well, specifically my Facebook, I do apologize for the recent activity. Um, every time I change my cover photo and profile pic, because I was constantly tweaking them and I was never happy with them, uh, it kept posting that I'd updated it, so their feeds will probably have been completely dominated by my crap, so I'm really sorry about that. Well, I didn't really uh, intend to uh, change it as often as I did, but I just I kept on thinking, no, I can I can tweak that, I can add this, I can add that. Where the fuck is this guy? Where is he? Is he... I have no idea. We found the exit. Unless we need to talk to him back at the entrance again. I can't think of anywhere else he could be. Ah, there we go. Another one, yeah. Um, story of a true hero. Ah. So, this story actually has um, two possible endings, the human or the hero, and I'm not really sure if it matters what you pick. you just got to make sure you get the rest of it in the right order. Now, where the hell is he? Oh, I guess we have to go all the way back to the exit, don't we? Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. And level 23 for Zidane. And yes, to answer my earlier question, Dagus does have auto potion equipped. 
That's fine, because we've got tons of them. So, you found all five. Let's hear the story. However, the story comprises of four parts. One of them doesn't belong. Be sure to choose only four. So, yeah, we want the beginning, obviously, to go at the end. No, at the beginning, yes. Then, I think... Um, well, that's got to be cooperation, really, hasn't it? Then, silence. Yes, and should we choose human? Or hero? Hmm... I prefer the human one, really, actually. I mean, that's kind of a dick move, but I can... I don't know. I'm gonna go for human. I d like I said, I'm not sure what happens if you choose uh, different ones. So, he's gonna read the story to us. We've already read this. Are you satisfied with your choices? Yes. So, he's gonna ask us a question now. How come you chose human for the conclusion? Well... People pass down stories of other people to whom they feel an affinity. People in this story had flaws, as we all do. That is why they became heroes in the people's mind. And they're, you know, more relatable. That's always good for a hero in a story. Oh, dun dun dun. He's digging a bit deeper. Your soul is very tense right now. Yeah, because I'm being grilled by an old creepy dude floating in a, in a strange place. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Remember that you alone choose the path in which, on which you walk. Ain't that the truth? Then we get the Peridot, which uh, enables us to learn the Ramu Summon. Maybe now. Let's go to Lindblom, yes. Let's do that. I've missed Lindblom so much. That is a good question. That is true. Yeah, probably correct there, Vivi. That's the impression I got. She's getting impatient. We better uh, make a chase. You're exactly right. It's not what the people say afterward. What is important is being true to oneself. She may not have realized it, but when she wished to learn how to summon, uh, use summon magic, the summon power returned to her. Good or evil, there is room for growth. I shall choose her, so I chose her as my master. I'll be watching over her every step of the way. Yep, yeah, you got it, buddy. So we get our first summon, although I think it's going to be a while before we get to actually use it. The lovely colour of sky, that is. Oh, Lindblom in the distance. That's beautiful. So, yeah, I think uh, you can't actually come back here once you jump off, so make sure you got all the items and stuff. I think I got everything, so I'm fine to uh, carry on. And yes, we have been here before. It's a very noble goal. You can do it. Uh oh. Oh shit. What's it doing here? Oh my god. That isn't good. That is not good at all. 
teleports are sending black mages directly inside the castle. That is a bit of a cheap attack move, but... <sighs> yeah, they used summon magic afterwards. That is... Uh... Oh, dear. Yep, she's gone too far this time. You can attack Clara. You can attack, you know, you can control people in Dali, but you don't attack Lindblom. That was always... I mean, that is a horrific cutscene. It used to terrify me. It still does. That summon, which uh, we don't know the name of yet, is probably the most terrifying summon. Can you imagine being swallowed up into that thing? And Dagger is, understandably, very upset. As I imagine most people are who live in Lindblom. Yeah, we need to be careful. I don't know, can we not just take Vivi? Yeah. I, I suppose. But couldn't he, like, wouldn't he be in disguise almost? I suppose he is a lot shorter than the, the other ones, but still. We'll be right back. Yeah, okay. Vivi, you just, uh, you make sure you hide really well. So. Lindblom has changed quite a bit. As you can see, there's bodies of black mages everywhere. Marsha's looking for a mommy and a daddy. Oh, fucking Alexandrian soldiers everywhere. I don't think you could call that a war. That was an ambush. Well, not really an ambush, but you know what I mean. Surprise attack. More like just one big battle. Um, yes, I admire your courage. I don't think so. Oh, it's still alive. There's a Dane sticking up for him. We don't really know what the deal is yet. It's, uh, it's pretty distressing, right? The inn... Don't know if there's anything... to do in here. We can actually get a few items in Lindblom. Oh, let's check the uh, customer opinion. I came here on vacation. I can't believe a war broke out. It's too dangerous to walk outside. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Give me back my money, Dylan. Yeah, you picked a bad time to visit Lindblom, buddy. That is for sure. Now, the Moogle up here, is he going to have any letters? I'm glad he's okay, by the way. This, uh, this inn seemed to be quite unharmed. Um, ah, this is Moodan. Yeah, we have a letter for you from Sereno. It's a letter from the flying Moogle, Sereno. I, I, all Moogles can fly, but I suppose because she was on the airship. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I rode an airship called the Red Rose, but I saw something horrible, Kupo. The idol in Odin's power is terrifying. It destroyed Clara completely. There's not even a trace of the city now. Yeah, I mean, Clara was a lot smaller than Lindblom, though. Um, I don't think Odin could have done that to Lindblom. Yeah, she's scary. Right, uh, let me just check, actually. Do you have anything else? Shit. Ah, there's a letter for Zidane. Oh, glad I checked. 
Oh, it's from Ruby. Oh, God, you know what that means. Oh, I'm having a terrible time finding actors. I'm willing to take anyone who can read at this point. What is his name? That narcissist from Lindblum? I'd even take him. Get him over to my mini theater. We need to get some business. Does he? Does she mean Lowell? He's a narcissist, all right, Kupo. Yeah. We might actually come across him soon, if he's uh, still alive, that is. Wait a minute. Do you have any letters? Any more letters? Anything? Oh, of course. Nice one. Um, Moonte. Moot. Yeah, we can do that. Anything else? While I'm at it. Do you want a back rub? Foot massage? No? Okay, then. So, yeah, the, the chests, or at least quite a few of the um, <coughs> treasured chests in Lindblom should have restocked, so we need to go find those. Uh, God, look at the damage of this place. It really depresses me. It's a fictional place, doesn't exist, but this gets to me. Look at the state of this place. Oh, the pickle thing's all fallen over and sh Oh, hang on. Oh, it smells awful. No, not the pickles. There's someone there. Black mages blinded me. What? A oh no. Oh my god, that is so dark. I mean, literally, because you can't see. But you know what I mean. Holy crap. And people say that this game's, you know, it's all cartoony and light-hearted. No, this game is freaking serious when it needs to be. An airship fell out of the sky and almost hit me. Thank goodness it was only a small cargo ship. I hope it wasn't the cargo ship. That dude's dead. Is there anything over here? No. Yeah, that's pretty unreal. They certainly aren't. Hmm. Now, yeah, there's an item over here. So you can't... Ooh, Lindblom card. Nice. You can't actually go back to the church now, that's it. It is uh, destroyed, as far as I'm aware. Let's check that card. We have our first city card. With shit arrows. Oh my god, that is terrible. It's a very nice looking card. I'm glad we got it, but uh, very much a doubt I'll be using it. Okay, I've just spoken to you. Sold off. Uh, the vigilantes. Why did I say that so weird? Vigilantes. Vigilantes. Um. Yes. Justin. Please tell him this. Please tell him to stop what he's doing. Tell him Nicole said so. Oh, they must know each other. Let me say no. I forgot. No. Okay. Uh, right. If we go inside. This house. This is where the card freak dude was. Um, can actually get some more chests. I see some eggs in the nest over there. Yeah, Phoenix Pinions um, actually do. Uh, the more you have, the better it is, actually. I, I will explain it a little bit later on, though. War is so primitive. Yeah. That's, it does suck. I may be back to play cards with you, I'm not too sure. Don't know, but now just doesn't seem like the right sort of time. Anything over here? I'm just checking, I really can't remember if there's anything to pick up. In the wreckage, in the rubble. So we're heading over towards the, uh, the shops. Oh crap. Looks like one of them bit the dust. The industrial district is gone, and the business and theatre districts are in ruins. So you can't actually go to the industrial district at all now. That's it. Kaput. Obliterated. Finito. 